Hey there, I'm, uh, I've got another tool, cool tool for you. This thing is very odd looking. Probably not as odd as the Tremoloa, but uh, this is called, uh, basically it's an electric sitar. Um, and this is a Jerry Jones. He kind of did a uh, uh, copy of the Coral sitar, and they're not making these anymore. He's, he's retired. Um, I think Rogue is maybe making these now. Something, I mean, similar to these. The great thing about this was at the time I bought it, I think it was $900, and you really couldn't get a better one. I mean, uh, you might have been able to get a coral sitar from the 60s, which is the original, uh, but those, you know, there were a lot of plastic pieces on them and very hard to find one that was in perfect working condition. So this was really about, at the time, about the best one you could possibly buy. And so I picked one up a few years ago just for fun, just something to add to my um, arsenal. And, uh, you know, it's just... It's just a cool little thing to pull out every now and then. It's actually, you can do all sorts of crazy things with it, but... Uh. And uh, the scale I was using right there was um, the fifth mode of G harmonic minor. So G harmonic minor would be Okay. The fifth mode of that is the is start you start on the fifth note in that scale and that would be um, starts on D, E flat, F sharp, G, um, A, B flat, C, D. So it's got a very kind of Middle Eastern Indian sound or whatever. It's, it's just a simple uh, harmonic minor scale, though. Um, another scale, I could play like a D harmonic minor scale, which sounds pretty cool. It'd be like... You've heard that kind of thing before? Okay. And this is tuned like a guitar, so I can just play. Okay. Now it's got um, it's got two pickups here. All right. It's got a it got a neck pickup, which has is uh, I've got a, a volume knob and a tone knob for that. A little, a little warmer sound. I turn that off, and I could turn on the treble one. It kind of has that more nasally kind of bright sound, or I can have them both on. Uh, turn off the tone, maybe. Get much. Or turn turn it up a little bit and get a little. Sound. So that's so that's that, um, and then there's also uh, so the way this works is there's a um, and th this was actually invented by a studio guitar player in the '60s, um, but the the strings go across the bridge right here, and then they rest on these this plastic piece that creates kind of a buzzing. So after the bridge right here is it's just a big chunk of plastic, and the strings are kind of laying against it, and it creates this buzzy resonant sound. Um, and then there's this cover here just to kind of keep you, so you have some place to put your arm not rest on the strings. Th these are uh, like, um, you know, I don't know what the term is for them, but there's a, pi there's a pickup for those. I'm going to turn off these two pickups here. There's another pickup knob and a treble uh, uh, tone knob here. And if I turn this on, there's these, these notes that are pre-tuned. Um, and they're out of tune right now. I've got to fine tune it with a, you need like a, uh, the, the, the wrench you would use on an auto harp. It's the same thing. Um, it comes with the guitar, but uh, basically you get this kind of kind of cool, and you can tune it to pretty much anything you want. Right now it's supposed to be two C's, B flat, G, F, E, F, G, B flat, G, uh, C, uh, D, uh, no, 
Yeah, F, F, E, C. What it is. Here's here, here it is. Something like that, basically. So I can play like C7 chord. Kind of cool. Anyway, that's that gets kind of crazy, but it's just a fun instrument. Um, I recently played it on a, a record in, uh, for some producers in England where I did a, a kind of a bass line. You know, that kind of thing. It's cool. I love this thing. It's always funny to pull this out at a session and go, check this out. Um, that's it. I think that, that kind of gives you an overview of the thing. But it's called, this is a Jerry Jones sitar, electric sitar. And they, he, they made two of them, a small one that just had this part of it without these extra notes. And I don't know why. I've never really used those. Uh, but I just thought it was cool looking at that. You know, and it was an extra couple hundred bucks at the time. So I figured, oh, I'll go ahead and spend the extra money and get the full on, uh, the full sitar. So... That's an electric sitar, and I've probably used it five times or less. And if you uh, if you pick one up, you might find that you use it a lot more than I do. But, uh, hey, maybe you can make a whole band around it. Anyway, God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon.